from King Julian's first sip of frog tea. People have been demanding a house for him, so I gave the people a vote between more fraud houses, baby fraud houses, and a possum house. And the people chose the possum house. So we started with this design, but people had more ideas. We did the second design, and it was good enough. So we built it in 3D, complete with insulated walls, roof vent, escape hatch, rain gutter, water bowl, a ladder, and hinges. Also, because this thing is too big for my printer, it's going to be a mix of 3D printing and wood. So I started printing, cutting, and building. First the base, the outside walls, started the roof. Then I needed to cut these triangles. So I'll just draw it here. Wait, but it's not a right angle. It's 103 degrees. Defeated, I consulted the people of Frederick and got heaps of help, except for a few people making things up, like a plotter and a protractor. Jeez, guys, I'm not that gullible. But this person had the simplest idea. Just draw a line and use a bracket for the angle. It was such a good idea that I thought of it. So I drew and cut the triangle. Whoops. <laughs> cut the entry hole in the front triangle and finished the roof. Then I was up to insulating. I wanted some kind of natural insulation. Something cheap. Ah, perfect. Boppy's fur. Natural, clearly keeps her warm and free. Eventually, I collected enough to make this. Insulated the walls, then the roof, attached the inside panel of the roof, installed the roof vent, which needed some persuading, cut the hole for the escape hatch, attached the inside walls, installed the escape hatch hole, made a silicon water seal for the escape door, which was a dumb idea. I really should have bought some kind of gasket, but oh well. Attached the escape door, cut the edges for the roof and walls, and attached them, cut the wood for the garden bed, and then glued it together, glued the roof gutter together, and then attached that, attached the roof flashings. Then I realized, because the house is so tall, the possums won't be able to reach the bottom on the inside. Rather than adding another ladder, I decided to add another level. Then siliconed all the joins, drilled the holes for the water bowl and gutter pipe, then installed them both, cut the metal for the hinge pin, glued the hinges, attached the hinges, attached the ladder, added the coconut husk bedding, waterproofed the wood, and I was so close to being done, but I lost myself in a deep, dark abyss. House progress stopped. Days turned into weeks and weeks, until, like a phoenix rising from the remnants of its own despair, resurfaced I did from the menacing void of my real job. So I cut the wood for the waste tray, attached that and the garden bits, and it was ready to install on the fence. I wanted to put it in a tree, but we don't have anything suitable in our yard. So we'll try here, and if the possums refuse to move in, we'll try something else. So that's it. We'll see what QJ thinks about it on tonight's live stream.